Hey folks, uh, we're going to do a, a builder intro, I guess. I've done a couple of those uh, for Alpen Design Works. We've got three of their new products that they just released on their website. And uh, it's kind of their, their kickstart. And then we'll see what comes up on the website after. So we've got their Use It pouch, uh, Mesh Pancake pouch, and I don't remember what this one was, but it's the partner with Tough Possum Gear uh, Stretch Zippered pouch. So get that on the table and kind of run through what they do. All right, guys, I uh, got a couple products from uh, Alpen Design Works, which I am very excited to show you. Not necessarily because of the, the products, I'm just happy that uh, Alpen Design Works is, is finally uh, pushing stuff out that, that you can buy. All right, so uh, we've got a couple different products. This one is actually a collaboration uh, with uh, Tough Possum Gear, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, so we'll just kind of go through these initial uh, products that they're offering. And then we'll all watch with bated breath to see what greatness comes from the company. All right, so this, this product here is a, a Tweave uh, little pocket, a little possibles pouch, if you will. Um, it's, you know, it's it's a small stretch pocket, all right? It, I've used products like this in uh, the bicep pouches on like OCPs or cries and stuff. Uh, they work pretty well with that. They work all right in the, the dip pocket on cry pants uh, as a way of just kind of organizing some small items. Um, some of my older videos, I've got little little zipper pouches that, you know, I keep you know, like a can opener, small flashlight, small pocket knife, maybe a small pen, small notepad in there, or just some scrap paper. Uh, it works well for stuff like that. And, and the fact that it's, it's stretch is, is kind of nice. Uh, because you can get away with a little bit out-shaped items and, and be okay, right? Uh, then we've got the, the mesh pancake pouch here, all right? So uh, I will say I uh, was a sucker for the scale on the website. Uh, not not their fault at all. I just assumed some of this stuff was a little bit bigger than it was. Uh, so I talked to the guys there, and I think this would make a, a pretty sweet uh, pouch for um, underwear and socks uh, with a few changes. Obviously, it might need to be a little bit bigger. You could fit socks in here, but they'd be kind of balled up. Same thing with underwear. Uh, but with the mesh design, if there's a way to hang this on the outside of a ruck or, or whatever, you could potentially use it to air dry some socks. Uh, so as you rotate socks through movement uh, and whatnot, they get some air and can dry out a little bit better. Uh, but it's a it's a fairly simple pouch, so it's got a little bellow on each side here, and then uh, a diagonal zipper there, so you can you can fit a decent volume in here, um, like you could absolutely fit the underwear and fit the socks in here. Uh, it just wouldn't necessarily be as spread out as I had imagined to allow it to dry. Right? They make this in mesh as well as solid body pouches so some some things don't play well with mesh uh smaller tools tend to get caught up in the mesh and then can kind of ruin the pouch or hang up and make it kind of take an odd shape but that's the pancake pouch and then this one i was also a sucker for the scale here uh so it's measured or advertised at nine inches long uh and i immediately feel better about myself realizing that that's all that nine inches is so uh it's their their use up pocket and it's just a, a small organized pocket, right? It's it's not padded per se, but with the with the multiple layers, uh, it ends up you have a little bit of air pocket in the in the sides, and it does have kind of a padded appearance and, and kind of a padded functionality there. Uh, but it's really sized well uh, for storing uh, spare M4 mags. I think if I didn't have the base plate P mag in there and this uh, magazine with the cry mag clip on there, I think you could fit six M4 mags in there, no problem. Uh, they fit pretty well side by side. Um, and then, you know, we'll just get these out of the way here. Uh, I was a little bummed when I bought mine. I think they're out of high-vis uh, liners. That was really, really what, the, what I was going to go for, but I can't complain too much about duck because uh, duck is cool. All right, but it's a it's a nice size pocket, um, if not a hair smaller than I had visualized, not smaller than they advertised, for uh, potentially heavier, bulkier items 
that you need to keep more accessible at the top of a ruck. Uh, that's really how I would I would use it. Um, not so much for, for magazines, um, because there's other ways of doing that. But, you know, like your headlamp, uh, maybe if you've got a thermal monocular, uh, range finder, something like that, that you want to be able to keep immediately under the storm collar or the flap of your ruck uh, without risking it falling down as you, as you put other things in there. Um, and maybe it's things that you don't necessarily want exposed on the top pocket of your ruck. Um, just for, you know, things being set down on your ruck and whatnot. You want a little bit more protection. You want the stuff more, a little bit more internal. I think it's a really good option for that. So like the FLIR Scout would fit in here really well. Um, and then you could potentially do some radio batteries or some extra cables and stuff. Um, for my Krabby Boys, you could have a hook and line kit in here uh, with some added line. That would fit pretty well. Um, but it's a, it's a nice pocket to keep that stuff organized or, or lumped together and then at the top of your rucks. So uh, the U-Zip is also uh, an interesting design. Um, I think it works well versus just having, you know, like a top zip on here or uh, something goofy. Like this, this diagonal zipper, while it works on the pancake, wouldn't work exceptionally well on this. This gives you a nice big opening so that you can get to your stuff pretty well. So uh, Alpen Design Works. Super excited to see what else they put out and uh, what is eventually uh, available for us using Corey's Genius. So thanks, guys.